So here we have our Arduino with the external LED still attached and blinking from our previous sketch. So in this sketch, what we want to do is rather than have the LED blinking on and off, we want to have it fading up and down. Now, with the um, blinking LED, we were using the digital write function in the Arduino code. So uh, the digital pins on the Arduino produce a digital output. So that output is usually five volts and it can be on or off, which is fine for a blinking LED. But what we want to do is have a range of voltages so that the LED will be fading up and down. So to achieve this, we have to use a special function in the Arduino code, and that is the analog write function. And to, when using the analog write function, we can produce what is known as PWM. So PWM stands for pulse width modulation. And when we call the analog write from one of the Arduino pins, the pin will output a steady square wave. And depending on what we call the duty cycle, so that's the time that the pin is high or low, will determine the output voltage. So we can see here that each of these cycles is identical. So the frequency is the same for each of them. But what we have in this first one here, within this cycle here, we have the pin high for 10% of the time and low for 90% of the time, which gives us a low voltage. Whereas down the bottom here, we have the pin is high for 90% of the time, low for 10% of the time, which gives us a higher voltage. So depending on how much time the pin is high to low within that cycle, we can have a range of voltages between zero and five volts. Now on the Arduino, Uno, and other Arduino boards, only certain pins are able to uh, give this um, analog uh, PWM output. So we can see here that some of the pins have this little tilde sign next to them. So they're the pins that can produce P P PWM or pulse width modulation. Uh, so we need to use one of those pins. So what I'm going to do now is unplug the Arduino and I'm going to take this jumper from pin 13 and I am going to put it into pin 9. And then we take that, plug it back in. And we should say there's nothing happening at the moment. Pin 13 still flashing. And when I load the code on. Okay, here we have the sketch that we are going to use to fade an LED, which is connected to pin 9 on the Arduino. This particular piece of code here was created by David Millis and modified by Tom Igo. Um, and this one makes use of a for loop. And we're going to go through this in a minute. Um, there is another fade example, which is included in the examples that ship with the Arduino IDE called Fade. And that one makes use of some if statements. So an if statement right here. So there's a couple of different choices. Um, the reason why I've gone with this one um is because of this for loop here so this piece of code right here is quite a useful piece of code uh, and it gets used quite often for other arduino sketches so we're going to be looking at that one and using that more in the future so just to go through this code here we have declared a variable here which is outside of the loops outside of the uh, function and setup etc um, and we've uh, set it to pin 9. So this is an integer um, uh, variable set to pin 9 on the Arduino. 
in the setup function here nothing is is happening and then we go down to the loop and in the loop uh, function we have a four uh, a four loop here and what this does basically is give us a a range um, to operate in so from the um, value of fade value we've declared this new variable here fade value so from 0 to 255 so when fade value is either uh, equal to or less than 255 we keep going once it goes over 255 then we don't um, iterate through the, the uh, for loop anymore uh, and we have our fade value go up in increments of five each time so basically what that means is from from zero to 255 by steps of five do this here so for each step what we're doing is we're uh, using the analog write function which um, calls the uh, PWM to pin 9 that's the pulse width modulation which we'll talk about in just a second um, and to to pin 9 we then write the value fade value which is taken from the for loop so at the beginning of the for loop the fade value is 0 and then the next step through because we're incrementing 5 each time it would be 5 then 10 then 15 then 20 until we get up to 255 so at 0 it is off and at 255 then the LED is full on and then we have this short delay uh, just to enhance the fading effect uh, without that delay you don't notice the fading up and down so much so um, that's quite useful to have in there so you can actually see the fade and then we go down here we've got a second for loop so we've got these two forward loops this one going from 0 to 255 and then down here we have the opposite we're going from 255 down to 0 in steps of minus 5 so this one increasing from off to on and this one decreasing the LED from on to off so a fade up and a fade down um, if we just go across here you'll see this is on the Arduino uh, website the analog right it's um, its parameters so the duty cycle between 0 and 255 so this um, page on the Arduino site Anal analog right will explain analog right to you and also PWM if you want to get a, a better understanding of, of pulse width modulation they're both on the Arduino uh, website so we'll come back over to uh, the fading example and what we want to do now is check that our Arduino board is connected and we can see here under tools the port is com, com port 4 and our Arduino Uno is connected so we can now go ahead and upload the sketch done and we will see that the LED is now indeed fading up and fading down